Well, good morning, uh, Rock Church family and friends on this special occasion. Uh, it's family and friends weekend, which means we don't get to um, gather. We get to have a rest. It's only online. And uh, the first Sunday of every month is like our Sabbath. It's called Family and Friends Weekend. We get to rest and catch up with family, friends, uh, maybe those odd jobs, whatever it looks like. We get to do that on the first Sunday of every month. And like I said, it's pretty much our Sabbath. So that being said, uh, we, we are gathering next Sunday um, at 9.30 a.m. at 114 Buchan Street. You're all welcome. Pastor Sabina is, uh, is preaching. He always brings a great message and great teaching. And I hope you can join us. Um, after I finish uh, this morning, uh, you have an opportunity to give um, and sow into the house. We still believe in tithing and giving and, and sowing and investing in the things that we do locally and globally. And so afterwards, there'll be an opportunity to, to sow into that um, as um, the slide comes up. Well, this morning, I'm not going to be long. I'm not going to give you a message or preach a, a long sermon around uh, Father's Day. All I want to do is just give you some 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 tools this morning to move you forward and just to think about. I'd rather give you something to think about and remember and actually put into practice rather than just like um, it's a long sermon and I just can't remember it all and not, and not do anything with it. <clears throat> One thing for sure is we don't need more information to do nothing with, right? We actually need um, practical tools that we can put into place and hopefully I can add value to your life this morning. And so that being said, a big shout out to all the fathers today uh, the grandfathers the stepfathers the foster fathers the spiritual fathers the uncles um, and to all the men as well you know we honor you as a male as a man this morning we celebrate you we we're a church that includes doesn't exclude we're thankful for all the fathers and what you guys do um you know um, we're all navigating new spaces but um, what an opportunity to celebrate that so we just want to bless you this morning and say you know we love you we honor you and we respect you and, you know, I just want to share a couple of thoughts this morning. And so that being said, you know, um, we as men are always making critical decisions every hour, not just every day, but every hour, whether we value or devalue the relationships that we have. We're always making those critical decisions. And, you know, most um, of our relationships, if not all, are not set and forget. It's not like, you know, I've got to renew my um, subscription um, in 12 months time and then I'll, ch I'll check in with my family or my spouse no you've um you know it's it's a, it's it's an hour it's a daily it's a weekly decision and so there's no set and forget i want to encourage you that uh, we as men you know we, we don't want to um like uh, most men's arguments and um and challenges you know it comes down to pride and ego and um, there is no gain and so sometimes you know um one of the best things you could ever do is like i apologize i got this wrong i'm sorry move on, learn from it, um, you know, two wrongs don't make it right. So we want to be men and fathers that um, admit our mistakes, but also celebrate our victories as well. And so I want to encourage you this morning, um, you know, over the next four months, it's September already now, and then it's September, October, November, December, and then it's the end of the year, then we move into 2023. I want to encourage you to be an active father over the next four months, not just in lip service, but actually be an active father over the next four months. I... um want to leave you with nine things to remember <clears throat> this particular Sunday, Father's Day for 2022. So here we go. I hope you can write them down, remember it, or watch it again if you've forgotten anything. And so here are nine truths about you this morning. If you're a father, if you're a man, if you're a male, I'm here to celebrate you. As much as I believe in Black Lives Matter, I also believe fathers' lives matter as well. Men's lives matter as well. And so we need each other. We're not in competition with each other. We celebrate your next yes. I celebrate your next yes. And hopefully you celebrate my next yes as well. And so, you know, we want to, we're always better together, right? We're not, we don't, we grow in healthy community. We don't grow, grow in isolation. So that being said, let me give you nine tools. Number one, I want to encourage you. Failure is not a person. Failure is an event. You're not a failure. You might have failed. You might have made mistakes, but that doesn't define you. That's not who you are. You are a man of God. You're a person that can go forward. You're a person that can clean up things from the past and move forward to what lies ahead. And so I encourage you, failure is not an event. I've failed in many things. Maybe you've failed in things, but that doesn't make me a failure. I just failed that event. So I get up, I dust myself off, and I move on to the next thing. So failure is not a person, it's an event. Number two, ability is really important. Having ability for things and education and, and strengths and, and knowledge about things is, is really good. So ability is, is important, but dependability is critical. Your family need to know that they can depend on you. Your mates, your friends need to know they can depend on you. And so, you've, you know, I encourage you. And ability is important, but dependability is critical. 
Number three, the highs of achieving great things, whether it's in the sporting field, the academics or whatever it may be. Um, you know, we celebrate that, but those highs are only momentarily. You kind of stay on top forever, right? So you retire, you move on to other things. So we celebrate all the people that put the hard work in to achieve those things. But that being said, right, the, the highs of a father, right, are ongoing. You're going to becoming a grandfather. Um, you hit so many other different milestones as you're watching your kids get married, if they choose that pathway. You see them um, graduate from university, get a job, get a career, um, travel the world, you know, get their license. The highs of a father um, will never, ever stop. It just keeps going on and on and on. And you start to celebrate new things and you look for new things. So number four, I want to encourage you to keep doing the heart journey. So don't just do the knowledge journey and then like I'm the father and I'm, I'm here to teach you some skills, but try and do the heart journey. I'm still learning that one as well. But, you know, it's really, really important. Um, number five, um, keep turning up. So even when... You know, you've got other appointments. Keep turning up. Keep showing up. I promise you there's power in turning up. Just turning up and then see what happens. Keep turning up to those events and whatever it looks like. Keep turning up. Number six, you have what it takes. You have what it takes to be that man, that father, that husband, that leader, that business person, that ministry uh, person, whatever it is, you have what it takes. Uh, number, number seven, your life matters, right? It really does. If you're not here, people will miss you. Your life matters. Number eight. There is someone that will always believe in you. If you don't think there's no one that believes in you, well, God believes in you. I believe in you. We here at The Rock believe in you. We believe in you. And number nine, as I close this morning on our special Father's Day, your story isn't over. Let me say this to you, brother, to that father that's watching, that man in particular, to all of our Rock Church people as well. Your story isn't over. You get to write the last chapter. So I encourage you. I bless you. And I say to you this day, you know, um, you've got what it takes. You get to write your story. If it hasn't been a great story in the past, guess what? You, you know, your future can be better and it starts in the present. So let me pray for you as we release you to go. Enjoy your day. Um, and let, let, you know, I want you to know that we love you. We honor you. We, we respect you. Let me pray. Father, I just I pray for all of our men and our fathers in particular. And this Sunday, during this time, whenever they're watching this online, to know, Father God, that they've got what it takes. Let them be encouraged that, Lord, uh, their decisions are, are critical, not only for them, but also for their families and their future. Give them peace and joy. I thank you that you're a God that helps us forget the past and you help us to move forward to what lies ahead. We all make mistakes, but I thank you for grace and forgiveness. And I thank you for men, Father God, you enlarge in their hearts. And I speak into you right now, courage to be the man that you were called to be. You've got what it takes. We bless you this morning, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically, and financially. Let all your dreams come to pass. I thank you right now that things that you're believing for will come to pass before the end of 2022. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, have a great Father's Day. And um, we'll see you next Sunday at 9.30 here at The Rock Church. And um, if you want to continue to, to give and sow, we really appreciate it. The details will come up on the screen uh, very soon. Well, on that note, God bless you.